Hello and welcome to MongoDB Tools and Services by Rick Copeland. My name is Rick Copeland. I am an early adopter of MongoDB. I'm a charter member of the Masters of MongoDB, which uh, the company behind MongoDB, Tingen, actually created to recognize those who had made uh, major community contributions. I've been published uh, both on Python and MongoDB, and I'm a frequent speaker at various conferences and user groups on both topics. My background is I have used MongoDB for large high traffic production websites. So this is uh, knowledge that has been gained in the trenches, as it were, uh, not just things that I've learned from books. And finally, um, I've got some experience providing corporate training and consulting in MongoDB and in Python at Arborean.com, my consulting company. So in this course, we're going to be able to uh, look into MongoDB's tools and services. So the first part of that is the built-in tools that come with your MongoDB download. And that section, section one, is MongoDB profiling and performance. Here, you'll learn how to use the built-in tools like the MongoDB profiler, MongoTop, and MongoStat, and also query explainers to get the best performance out of your application. In section two, we're going to look at MongoDB's cloud services. Now, it turns out MongoDB provides a lot of services, some free, some for a fee. Uh, which allow you to monitor, configure, and backup and scale your clusters. MongoDB, in fact, uh, provides a database as a service service called Atlas, which will allow you to deploy a MongoDB sharded cluster with just a few clicks and no administrative overhead whatsoever. Finally, we'll look at how you can scale MongoDB both vertically and horizontally. So vertically meaning scaling up with larger servers and horizontally meaning scaling out with more servers, whether those be through replication or through sharding. And we'll look at some performance benchmarks for a micro benchmark and be able to uh, actually see some actual application performance even though it's a little bit synthetic. Let's go back to the prerequisites. To get the most out of this course, you should be familiar with both Python and MongoDB. So familiarity with a Python programming language will help you to understand some of the benchmark code that we're going to be using and all of the also the demonstration code and also familiarity with MongoDB, uh, basic concepts such as what is sharding, what is replication, what are documents, things like that. Uh, you can get a lot of that information out of the uh, predecessor to this course, which is developing with MongoDB, also by Pact Publishing and uh, hosted by uh, yours truly. So some of the things that you will learn in this course are one, you'll learn how to profile your application and explain query plans for the best performance. You'll also learn how you can use MongoDB's cloud services to monitor, configure, backup, and scale your database clusters. And finally, we'll see how you can use replication and sharding effectively to scale your database and when it's better to just get a bigger server. So I hope you're as excited as I am to dive into MongoDB tools and services. So let's go ahead and jump into section one.